One of the things that we've been trying to do is make sure that um, as members are the focus of what we do, they're looking at the processes both of how we represent members but also how we interact and communicate with members. The Member Voice and Democratic Structures program uh, was very much about looking at how members can feed into the BMA, how they can influence the policies and the work of the BMA, but also how we can let them know what's happening, what's going on and what we're doing on their behalf. We did a lot of research, a lot of going out and asking people what they thought, what they needed and what the BMA could do more for them. And this was very much about local engagement, about a local presence, in fact, sort of the face of the BMA where I work. 99% of the feedback that we got from members as we went out to ask was, it sounds like a good idea and the next most common question was, can you do it in our area first? For our pilot phase, we're running uh, two trials, one in the southwest of England and one in the west of Scotland, so that we get a range of opportunities and a range of feedback, but we're also targeting areas where we know that there's a lot of enthusiasm for, for better engagement from the BMA direct with members. As part of the project, what we're doing is putting in two brand new roles, a member liaison role and a local coordinator role. Out of around 165,000 members, we have approximately 2,500 members who are directly and actively involved in our national and regional councils, the committees that support them and in our divisions where members can get directly involved at local levels. Locally we have many other structures based on the places people actually work such as hospitals and general practices. Within those we have local negotiating committees which work very closely with our industrial relations officers, the IROs, who provide advice and support to individual members and work with local medical committees to support GPs. There are also many other structures where members work directly and need support. So these are the formal structures and what we're putting in place through our new local models are complementary systems that add to what's already there. To make our new model work, we need lots more doctors to get involved, to be the face of the BMA in the workplace. Not to deal with individual matters, but to help colleagues access all that the BMA can offer, to signpost them to the range of services and support that can be provided for them. And the final piece of our jigsaw are our new local organisers. Staff on the ground to support you in your local areas, visiting workplaces regularly, organising and planning local events and activities that meet your needs specific to your specialty, your practice and your local area. What we want is for you as a member, as a GP locally or a doctor working in the hospital, to know the people who you could go to when you think, ah, who is the BMA? But we're setting up and getting going with some CPD events, some debates, perhaps some debates with different groups of doctors, some controversial subjects. The whole purpose of this is that we're going to be meeting up with members where they work, making that better connection with members. We want to understand what it is that members want from their trade union, from their professional association. And the way we're going to do that is by getting out there and being right next to them. I expect these trials will be a success. I think the model's right. If we do prove that, then the BMA will be rolling this out right across the rest of Scotland and through the other countries in the UK. So the BMA really is a member association. It's all about its members. It's run by members for members. We need to know what they think locally. We know what people think within BMA House, but that's not good enough. We need to know how each and every single one of our members feel. And we need to make that easy. We need to work around their working lives to make it easier for them to connect with us. So I'm really excited about this. This is really going to open up ways to get involved with your BMA. You'll have a face-to-face -face discussion. You'll have a person that you know that you can go to at a time that suits you. Someone that you can talk to that has direct links to BMA House. That person can actually be you if you want it to be. Get active, get involved, get connected. Join us.